So today we're going to talk about a software solution called Bill.com. And Bill.com does two main things for different accounting packages um, that it integrates with. It takes care of payables and receivables. And it's really good with that. So today we're going to look over the payable side of things. We're going to just do a quick overview. I'm not going to hit everything. There's tons of like details and things that you could go over, but we're going to just hit the, the basics. And then um, we'll probably do another video over the um, receivable sites. So build.com integrates with Zero, one of my favorite accounting softwares. And so what you can do is you can two main ways to create bills. You can create a bill in Zero, and then it will automatically be pulled into build.com for payment, or you can make it create it directly in build.com. Now the cool thing about bill.com that I like is that when you create a bill in bill.com there's two ways to do it. You can manually create it or you can create or you can go to the inbox they have um, and you can send you can get your people to send the PDFs, your vendors to send the bills strict directly to the inbox and so they'll show up in the inbox and what you can do here is you can click on it manually enter it or you can pay a small fee for them to read the file itself and code it for you I think it's a dollar or something in invoice which is awesome so as a big company you can just pay that and then your admin costs are a little bit lower because that's taken care of but you can they give you a set inbox where you can email all your uh, have all your vendors email their invoices to and they can automatically start your approval process which you can set up in bill.com you can set up multi-level approvals you can do PO matching and different things like that as well but the really cool thing that I like and which is applicable to really small businesses and larger businesses is the way they do payments so what you do is you set up your you link your bank account to bill.com and what they do is you go in here to pay it lists out all your invoices and it does two things for the invoice. It will show you the due date, and then underneath here, I'll show you estimated day of arrival. So you can select all the checks you want to pay that day and hit pay, or you can select one or two. But if you'll notice, based on the due date, it'll give you a process date. And so as you can see, the process dates are different based on when the due date is. And so their estimated date of arrival is they're using the process date to make sure that it gets there by the due date, and they're giving it themselves some leeway with that as well. So you can go in here and hit select all and pay, and then they won't actually send the checks until they need to for it to get to your vendor on the due date which is it's just awesome. It's really nice. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just get all the payments in there and hit send. The other really cool thing that they do is they pull the money out of your bank account in batches. So if you were to pay this $100, one $100 check and hit pay, they would pull $100 out of your bank account, put it in their holding account, and then tell the check clears. And they have it set on... I think it's 90 days, and after 90 days, if the check does not clear, they automatically void it and send the money back to you. So right there, it automatically creates this really cool process where you don't have to worry about voiding, voiding old checks. They remind you to they void them for, automatically for you, send you an email saying, hey, here's a check that was never cashed, and take care of it for you. Secondly, they put a wall between your checking account and the money that our, these vendors are getting paid out of the, the account that the money's coming out of. So they can't try to pull any more money out than is already there, which is also awesome. So it just gives you a little bit more security and some more protection. The other really cool thing they offer with payment here processing is you do have to pay a small fee for, to send the checks. But if you'll go out, check my blog out, and I'll put a link in the description below um, on my article about it. Manually processing checks at a minimum costs about ten dollars if you include the soft cost of your time and labor as well as the hard cost of the checks and envelopes and things like that this costs a dollar fifty a check i believe for them to mail it out for you and they take all that care of all that stuff in the background which is wonderfully awesome the other thing you can do though is you can send an email to any vendor you want if you have their email address and invite them to sign up for bill.com for free and put in their banking information and then it switches over to ACH transfer automatically 
once they put their information, or if you have their information, you can put it in there. And then you only get char- charged 50 cents a transaction, and they get the money faster, and you don't have to worry about checks clearing. It's wonderfully awesome. This this software saves me personally probably at least five hours a week, if not more, and paying bills for cust- clients, clients of mine and at a small business, especially if you're doing it all by yourself. This would cut out, cut out a lot of time for you when paying bills. All you have to do is get them in the system and then click a button and they're taken care of. You don't have to do any printing or anything like that. No signing checks. Click a button, they're sent off, and you know that they'll get there in time. So that's a quick overview of their payables side of things. Um, like I said, you can set up all kinds of approval po- processes. You can set up recurring bills. In the system, um, their vendor area is really nice. The The way they manage duplicates is awesome. As you can hear, hear at the top, they always tell you, you know, you have 0% of vendors who are on 8 payment save money by raising, um, raising that number. And so you can invite anyone who has email. So you can just send a, a blanket email out to them that they have a default one in there. You can go customize that email any way you want. But bill.com saves me personally a lot of time and frustration by providing an easy way to pay my bills for my clients and for my business as well. So if you want to look into it, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, shoot us an email, check out the blog post about um, check payments, and uh, let us know if you have any questions.